Friends, my distinguished and respected colleagues, Senator Albert Bassi, Akpan, Akwabuno, Mr. President, let me all equally commend the committee for a good job and to also say that it's not about um, uh, making this recommendation, Mr. President, because I know that you were also an anchor in the A Senate of a similar um, committee of this nature, Mr. President. But the question is, to what extent has the recommendation of that committee been implemented by the executive? So we just pray, like others have actually stated, Mr. President, that I just hope too that this one will not also go um, the way your committee report equally, uh, equally went. Mr. President, um, the extremely far-reaching uh, findings based on the committee. And I, I think um, I, I, can, I can deduce this to mean that um, the failure of the, uh, the various agencies to be effective is the failure of the Office of the National Security Advisor. Because based on, the, based on its findings, the National Security Advisor is actually supposed to coordinate all other security uh, agencies to ensure effectiveness and to also to ensure harmony and to, ensure, to drive down the, the purpose for which um, the agencies are actually set up. With the President, uh, based on the findings of this, um, of this committee, it is also clear that the, the agencies are running uh, across, uh, across, uh, across purposes, which means that there is no clearly defined uh, area, of, uh, area of focus where this can be done, and this can only be uh, could have been achieved by through the Office of National Security Advisor. Mr. President, what struck me most, Mr. President, it's, uh, it's on it's the findings of this committee on page, uh, on page 53, and um, item 11, where it says that clearly that the allegations arrived that the quest for personal wealth acquisitions has undermined institutional coherence. This is actually extremely very, very important because if you look at the submissions by all the, all the security agents, Mr. President, they're all looking for money. As there is no amount of funds that you deploy under the foundation of this incoherence, that will, that will work. And Mr. President, I think the committee also has been very silent because uh, no matter how you look at it, it is the morale of the troops that drives, that drives their effectiveness. That there are service chiefs who are, some are cost uh, 24, some are cost uh, 20, uh, 27. Meanwhile, you have cost 34, as by December this year, cost 34 will be retiring. I live in the service chief, so I mean, there is no morale on the forces of the troops. So we must call a spade a spade. And that should have been one of the anchor of this, uh, of, of, of this report, the morale of the troops, because there are no aspirations. So there are dissolutions that are lackadaisical, they don't care. And they want to frustrate them so that they can go and let the force, uh, let, let, let the force continue, Mr. President. So I think that should, that should be one of the most critical elements of this, uh, of, of this report, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President.